WA News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kelly O'Neill. Jennifer Peñate has the night off. Possible severe weather and a lot of rain could be headed our way tonight. Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff joins us now with your forecast first. Well, Kelly, so far everything is nice and quiet out there, but as you'll see, we've got concert time and uh, the Walmart Amp has Chris Tomlin in town and so the first concert for the concert series of 2019 is tonight. So what's going on weather-wise? Quiet right now, but that's not going to last. As Kelly mentioned, thunderstorms will be returning to the area. Temperatures right now are in the lower 70s. In fact, look off to our west and this is kind of a foreshadow of things to come as this very large weather system moves in. There have been confirmed tornadoes in the northeast Texas Panhandle tornado warning in northwestern Oklahoma. Now we don't have any watches around our area. There is a severe thunderstorm watch to our northwest and northwest of Tulsa that goes until midnight tonight and into early Thursday morning. But what's going on right now on the radar? Everything's pretty quiet, but we still have that severe weather risk, which is a level two out of five across the entire area with some more intense storms to our southwest. Now we had a little bit of sprinkles, a little spritz every now and then, and then you can see more thunderstorm activity starting to pop up and increase in intensity. And these are the storms that we're going to have to watch as they push into uh, parts of the River Valley. The River Valley more under the gun for severe weather early on, and then we get additional thunderstorms moving in after midnight and into the early morning hours. We'll have the complete hour-by-hour -hour future track radar along with what's ahead for the Easter weekend coming up in your forecast. But, Kelly, we're sending it back to you. All right. Thanks, Dan. Well, KNWA is your local election headquarters, and last week, Fayetteville voters approved millions of dollars for different projects around the city. KNWA's Inkirka Azuka joins us live in studio with how the money will help the economy. Well, Kelly, voters approved the budget of over $3 million for economic development in a special election on April 9th. Director of Economic Vitality for the city, Devin Howland, says all the bond issues will impact economic development for Fayetteville. He says better roads and infrastructure, the arts corridor, and improved emergency services will help make Fayetteville a more fun and safe place to work and play. But his department's main focus with this part of the bond money is workforce development and making sure Fayetteville has the skilled workers needed as the city grows. Howland says the money will also help make jobs for people who may not have access to them, like those who are formerly in jail or living in poverty. If I don't know where my meal, next meal may come from, I may not have time to worry about what is the most in-demand industry sector that's got my best chance to get it where I can make $20, $30 an hour. Howland says he doesn't know exactly which projects the money will be used for right now, but it will be on hand for when it's needed. It'll help fund projects that he says will have a great return on investment. Live in studio, Kira Kazuka, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Erica, thank you. Well, today, President Trump met with state lawmakers at the White House to discuss ways to help communities find investors to create jobs in their backyard. KNWA's Mark Meredith is in Washington with more. President Trump says with the economy red hot, private employers have added an average of more than 6,500 jobs every single day. Think of that. The president says businesses nationwide are looking for room to expand, and a new program that creates so-called opportunity zones uses tax breaks to encourage investment in distressed areas. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway. It's to help these distressed communities survive but also thrive and to encourage people to stay closer to home if they like. The White House says these opportunity zones can be found in all 50 states and include some 8,800 communities nationwide. State and local leaders met with the president at the White House for a briefing on the program's rollout. Uh, we're starting to promote those zones uh, throughout our state, trying to get investors to, to pool their money together to be able to actually invest in these zones so we can start seeing some of the money start flowing into communities. We're very much interested in opportunity zone investments coming in. The Trump administration says opportunity zones are meant to last and not be a short-term investment that disappears with an economic downturn. In Washington, Mark Meredith, KNWA, Northwest. West Arkansas News. Mark, thank you. Well, around Arkansas, be prepared to get a DWI if you drive high starting this f Friday. Local police, sheriff's deputies, and highway patrol troopers in Arkansas will concentrate patrols directed toward an effort to stop drivers who are impaired by drugs. The regional enforcement plan is happening across six states and will continue throughout Saturday.
On the other hand, if you use cannabis for medical purposes, you might want to let your doctor know before having procedures needing anesthesia. A new study shows people who reported smoking or using edibles on a weekly or daily basis needed twice as two times the level of sedation than non-users. Researchers in Grand Junction, Colorado, looked at 250 patients that required endoscopic procedures. They found patients who regularly used cannabis needed 14% more fentanyl, 20% more mitazolam, and 222% more propofol for sedation. A professor of anesthesia at the University of Pennsylvania considers the study a good starting point, but says it needs a complete trial. Happening in northwest Arkansas, one area organization will be installing hundreds of free smoke alarms for families. The local Red Cross responded to nearly 300 home fires just last year. There will be smoke alarm installations in Lowell and Bentonville this month. If you need a smoke alarm, you can register online at getasmokealarm.org. If you have a nonviolent warrant out of Springdale, you have a chance to set your record straight. The Springdale Police Department is holding Warrant Amnesty Week for anyone with a nonviolent offense. All you have to do is bring a non perishable food item to the food pantry in front of the station from now until April 19th, and you will be released on citation. You can do this between the hours of 7 30 a.m. and 2 30 p.m. All new at 5, 32 high school seniors are being recognized during the first career and technical education signing day. The seniors will be entering the workforce directly after graduation through the CTE program. They'll have the option of studying a CTE-related field or entering the military. Students in Fayetteville Public Schools are offered 10 programs of study in this program. One student shares the reason behind why he decided to go to trade school after graduation. I loved working with my hands. Like, I'm not good at usually like schoolwork kind of and homeworks and stuff like that. Things that involve like more like school styled work. I like being hands on. The students were congratulated by Fayetteville Public School officials, including Superintendent John L. Colbert and Principal Dr. J. Dostill. Well, you may want to take a peek inside your freezer. One of your favorite treats may not be edible if you have certain allergies. Coming up next, we take a look at what one company left off of the nutrition label. But first, Dan, how's the weather?